Today is the initial full launch of my basic graphs plugin pack for DaVinci Resolve. I've been teasing this a little as I've been developing. We've been giving away some samples. Uh, I'm gonna give away another uh, of the included presets as a uh, free download today. But uh, today, you know, the full pack is, is out, at least the first version of the full pack. Important and fun. Ah. If you follow the link in the description, you'll get to the store page where you can uh, grab this zip. Open that up, you'll have the DRFX. If you double click that, you will get a message whether you want to install. I have already installed, so it's asking me to overwrite. I will click overwrite. And uh, then in your effects library, under generators, strong supply code, graphs, you will have these plugins. You can preview any of them uh, by scrubbing over them. I've also dropped them on the timeline. So let's check them out. Uh, first, just uh, little extras I threw in there of really basic count up and a count up uh, percentage that uh, you can come in, change this scale to uh, whatever you want. Type in a little number. If you want it up to 400, boom, it'll animate right up to 400. As I've shown us previously, these animation time scale and offset uh, are in a lot of these presets and are really valuable for placing uh, this animation or, you know, for slowing it down if you want it to take a little bit longer, especially if you're coming up to a large number. Um, the second one, a percentage, obviously it just goes up to 100 if you want it to. These simple text effects are part of a lot of, of the other presets, so I also just made them standalone uh, in case anyone wanted those. But um, when we get to our main graphs, uh, some of the ones like we've shown off previously, a nice little bar graph that also has a version with just the straight percentage value. We got two horizontal, uh, the same setup, two vertical. On this vertical, of course, you can also set uh, these minimum and maximum to whatever you like if you wanted to go up to 200, all the math stays correct, all the proportions, all of that on vertical. Then you got the percentage on that. And then uh, some nice circle ones. We've got this nice sort of outline option, both for solid and percentage and filled in as well. I like the way they look, I like the way they look. Now some of the new ones um, that haven't been teased as much are the line graphs and the pie charts. On this line graph, you'll see by itself, Nice little line graph. Uh, you have individual values for all of those. You see the max here is also 100. Like before, you can bring that up to 200 and all the values stay correct. Any of these values, if I then wanted to go like 120, that would lift up. Any of these values, as I adjust them, they stay correct, maybe up to 200 there. And that just iterates on it uh, with the sequential ones. Here you got two lines, three lines, and four lines, all animating at the same time, change up the colors. Um, change up the individual values for those, and they will all adjust accordingly. And finally, in this initial offering, we have the pie charts. Um, these pie charts, I did want to say, are the only ones um, that fully animate in from nothing. I left most of the others as, you know, just being on screen, and then you can fade them on or slide them on however you want. Um, but for these, because the main graph element is actually pretty static, um, these are animated in. Let me know what you think about that, because I don't know what I think about that. But, I mean, I like them animating in. Ooh, it feels slick. And check these out here. You just have two main values, but if you start bringing one value up, especially if I hop in here, type in something like 100, a, then this percentage of the pie chart uh, stays equal. And uh, the total here, oh, that's not what I meant to do, but it still works, it shows it off fine. Uh, the total in the center uh, reflects both those values and um, spoiler alert, there are more charts as you go up or more section slices of this pie chart. The total will stay the same and each individual section will be perfectly proportional, all based off math, running in the background, that's cool. And I did say this is the initial offering um, because this sort of area of precess is something I'm really interested in. I would like to continue uh, adding to this pack. Uh, we're also gonna, hey, give away this first line graph as today's freebie. So you can try this one out, see if you like the controls uh, before you expand to uh, picking up the whole pack if you want that. We have covered a lot of the basic charts and graphs here, but if there is a specific chart or graph you would uh, like me to add to the pack or if you would like any you know significant changes in there, that's what the comment section is for. So hey, if you want a pack of drag and drop charts and graphs for DaVinci Resolve, here you go. If you just want to pick up another little free graph, uh, grab that. And if you have any suggestions or ways you want this pack to expand, and absolutely let me know. Lots of work has been going on this one uh, in the background for a while. I'm happy to finally release it, uh, and I am optimistic that it will, you know, continue to grow into a pretty nifty little pack. So check it out if you want. Well, I don't know. If you want. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.